Now, Japan says it will withdraw from the International Whaling Commission and resume commercial whale hunting next year. The highly controversial move has been slammed by other countries and anti-whaling groups. So, well, to discuss this uh, a little more, I'm joined in the studio uh, by Damon Embling. Good morning, Damon. Good morning. So, how surprising is this news from Japan? Well, this is obviously a highly controversial announcement that's coming out of Japan. It had been expected, but uh, quite clearly it's a surprise given Japan's normal approach to diplomacy and multilateralism. But the background to this, pulling out of this IWC, the International Whaling Commission, basically Japan has been lobbying the commission for some years now, in fact decades, to get the restrictions lifted on commercial whaling. It hasn't succeeded. The latest rejection came at a September meeting just a few months ago. So now we're in this situation where basically it's a loggerheads with the commission. It's reached an impasse and Japan is basically saying, we've had enough, we're going to go our own way. And they're basically pulling out of this commission means that they can now resume a commercial whaling. Of course, commercial whaling has been banned for some decades now, Bell. It was banned back in the 1980s um, amid fears that some whale species were close to extinction. But Japan actually questions that, whether most species are close to extinction. They also say that eating whale meat is a big part of Japanese culture, and this is why they want to, to resume that. Things won't change straight away. I mean, pulling out this agreement, it doesn't mean that overnight Japan will now start commercial whaling again. It's due to resume after a deadline at the end of June, so they could could start uh, resuming commercial whaling in July next year. Um, they're saying that whaling will be carried out in accordance with international law and they will only carry out in their territorial waters and in a special economic zone. But clearly that won't uh, appease those critics that we're seeing coming out over this. No, well, let's talk a bit more about those critics. What's the international reaction been? As you can imagine, highly controversial move has sparked widespread criticism from anti-whaling groups, conservationists and also national governments. I've got a whole list of criticisms in front of me here. Greenpeace saying, for example, that this is really out of step with the international community, Japan wanting to resume commercial whaling. Australia says it's extremely disappointed. Um, New Zealand too, and it said it wants Japan to reconsider its position over commercial whaling. But clearly Japan doesn't seem to be in any mood for wanting to reconsider its position, Bell after lobbying for decades and decades and not getting what it wants. So now it's going its own way and says we will now resume commercial whaling. How unusual is it for countries to, to sort of resume whaling like this? I mean, there's only three countries in the world at the moment that say, yep, we're going ahead with it. Is it, is it fairly unusual? It's very unusual. And I mean, as you say, Japan is just part of a handful of countries resuming commercial whaling now, supposedly at the end of June. And this is why it's so highly controversial. But Japan, as I say, maintains this case that not all uh, whale species are in Endangered. It has a right to respect meat, uh, whale meat eating as part of its culture. I mean, of and, course, that would be in its in its interest to yes, say that. It, it clearly, but um, you know, this uh, I think is going to attract a lot more criticism over the coming days and the coming weeks. National governments coming out alongside those conservationists, adding to that criticism. But I don't think uh, Japan at the moment uh, is going to change its mind. Bill. All right. Well, very interesting stuff. Thank you very much, uh, Damon uh, Embling. Uh, there talking to us about uh, whaling.